Wow. I am actually doing this right now. Okay. Hi guys. Um, <laughs> my name is Ashley and my friends and family have been telling me to start a YouTube channel forever pretty much. Um, so I always thought that I needed a really nice camera. I needed to have a whole thing. And right now I have my iPhone sitting on a box of pasta noodles. So <laughs> what better way to start the channel off, right? <laughs> so today I'm actually really excited. This I'm glad this is my first uh, YouTube video. Also excuse the hair, excuse the face. One, I'm tired, so I didn't do any makeup. Two, we're in quarantine, haven't gotten my hair done. So this is what we're rocking with right now. Um, but today, um, I'm gonna be doing a puppy haul. I decided in the middle of quarantine, shocker, that I wanted to get a puppy. I have wanted a dog, honestly, since I was still living at home. So what, like five years? <laughs> Um, I've wanted a puppy, like, I just, I love dogs in general. I wanted one when I was in college, um, but obviously we couldn't have them in the, like, student housing or whatever. So I figured since we're in quarantine and since we're, I'm working from home right now, I'll have time to train him, um, and, like, get him in a routine until I'm back at the office. So I kind of want to go like from the things you don't really need, but why shouldn't you have it to the things you do need. So the first one is this shirt that I have on. Um, it's a dog mom shirt <laughs> and it is from the company called Stewart Avenue, I believe on Instagram. Um, it's super duper comfortable. It's a comfort colors uh, what's the word called? Comfort Colors brand, which those t-shirts are always like extra oversized, no matter what size you get. If you get your normal size, it's oversized, which is what I love about it. You kind of need toys. So like, I don't think I should go through the toys first. I'm gonna go through the bandanas because hello, who doesn't love a good bandana? Uh, I'm a little overboard on the bandanas, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting a dog, so let me get some bandanas because those always look cute. But I spent way too much money on bandanas. Let me just say that much. So this first one is from a company called Bean and Co. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not a beauty guru, but that's what the bag looks like. And then I think I got all smalls except for one, um, like in general, not just from this company. So this is what the first bandana looks like. It's just um, trees, cause I was kind of um, in between names. It was either going to be Ranger or Hunter. And um, I guess I can keep the name a surprise, but. I might call him by it throughout the video. So um, I'll just say it now. I did end up going with Ranger. The bad thing about me buying all of these is that I don't know his neck size. He's the runt of the litter and that, which means he's smaller than all of his other brothers and sisters. He's the smallest one out of all of them. He'll catch up eventually, but he might be like on the smaller side when he, grows up to a full adult. So I got all of these not knowing what his neck size would be. And this is my first dog ever. <laughs> so I also don't know like if he's just gonna like go from one and then jump to the next size and I don't have the next size or something, I don't know. But long story short, all of these are in like varying sizes cause I didn't know what he would fit in at first. I don't think he's honestly gonna fit in any of these except maybe one when I get him, which is okay, honestly, cause I got them at a decent price, which I have not mentioned. The first one that I just showed you, the Bean & Co, 
That one was, I think, $5. And then this one is from a company called Ivory Paw. I love the brands that give you like a little drawstring bag to go with it. It's just like, I have a place to store them really. Um, but I also am trying to figure out where I should put all of his stuff, like all of his bandanas. I saw a girl on Instagram, she had a ladder and she used binder hooks and she put all the binder hooks on the ladder and then hooked the bandanas through them. I thought that was genius. The only issue is that if I have a ladder, I'm filling the whole ladder, you know? Like I can't just have half a ladder full of bandanas. So then that's just gonna make me buy more, which I don't need in my life because once I'm done with this you, and I have some more in the mail, you guys will be like, oh yeah, you really do have a lot. So this next one that I said, which was Ivory Paw, they have like matching bandanas with like scrunchies and stuff um, for the human, AKA me. So this is what his bandana from there looks like. Yes, it is wrinkled. I am going to sit down and iron all of these, which I also don't like that most of them are wrinkled like this. Cause then obviously I can't put them back in the bag without them getting wrinkled again. So I'm gonna have to like figure that out. Um, but for me, I did the hair scarf. So like if you put your hair in a ponytail, you can just tie it um, just long enough for you to like wrap around a ponytail. I'm not huge on ponytails. I wore them for like 10 years when I was a kid. So I try to not put my hair in a ponytail. I'm, I'm like a bun person now, which honestly is worse than ponytail. Um, but I figured this would be a little bit different than your average um, scrunchie. So that one was from Ivory Paw. I've said the name three times to <laughs> kill me. And I don't remember how much this one was. I bought this like probably two or three days after I put the um, deposit down for him, which I probably should have mentioned that yes, I did get him from a breeder. I know a lot of people have like their thing about it. I've watched so many YouTube videos in the upcoming weeks of me getting him. And like everybody starts off with, oh, I know how everybody feels about, you know, people who adopt versus adopt, don't shop and all that. Like for me, honestly, do what, like, do you. Like, if you wanna go to a breeder, go to a breeder. If you wanna adopt, adopt. Um, I personally wouldn't wanna go to a pet shop, but if somebody else does, then go to a pet shop. I mean, I I know if you don't support it, it will go away eventually. But my thing is like, you could literally try to do the best thing ever and it still be bad. Like you could go to a um, adoption center or a shelter, you can go to a shelter and adopt a puppy and that puppy is like 12 weeks old or something and someone's gonna come for you and be like, why didn't you get the pit bull mix husky that's only has two weeks left, you know, like at the end of the day, someone's gonna be upset. Like they could be upset with the breed that you got, honestly. So I don't know. I, <laughs> I just feel like as long as you're happy, then go where you wanna go. Um, if you go to a pet store, it's not going to affect me. So if you wanna to go to a pet store, go to a pet store. If you wanna adopt, adopt. I was looking to adopt. I actually fostered two puppies and I was kind of honestly low-key hoping that I was gonna adopt one of them. But I think the adoption fee was like $300 and then they had a really bad background. I had a really rough time with them. And to be completely honest, I was not educated enough like for those to be my first dogs to know what to do in a situation. So for example, like I think one of the dogs might have possibly had hookworm. I don't know what to do with that. Like I, I was still learning, but I thought this would be a good thing. We're in quarantine, the puppies, you know, they need homes, they need to be fostered. And I did it and it was one of the things that I regret in my life, honestly, because it was just, I was so stressed, I was anxious, I couldn't sleep while they were with us. 
because I was so scared something was gonna happen to them in the middle of the night because like everything that was going on throughout the day, they wouldn't let me touch them because they were so scared of like where they came from. Um, I think they were found at a dump site and then the people I was fostering them from, they didn't give me any information. I would text them like four times throughout the day with no response because these puppies were like, I'm pretty sure they were sick and I, did, I couldn't do anything for them. They, the people I fostered from, they had a vet. The only issue was that the vet was like probably four hours away from me or four, three hours away from me. And like, I couldn't, I didn't, I, I like couldn't leave to go cause it was in the middle of the work week. And then by the time I got off, they would be closed. Like it was just the whole thing. So I'm just gonna say, do whatever it is that you want. I'm sorry I went on this little like tangent in the middle of this. Y'all came for good times, not for, I don't know what I just gave you, but you didn't come for that. So let's continue on. <laughs> um, so the next bandanas that I got, I got these ones from a company, um, they're Etsy, they have an Etsy shop. Their Instagram name is L and Dill. I think it's E-I-L period D-I-L-L. -L. Um, so these ones, I thought I was getting a good price for them until I got other bandanas. So don't get me wrong, I love this company. I They host, um, what's it called? They host Instagram lives like every Friday and Saturday and you're just like sitting there, they're talking to you, showing you new bandanas and it's like you can see everybody's comments. I think I got caught up in that honestly because when I was in there it was like we were in quarantine, there was this whole thing going on and it was kind of like my little escape. So I feel like my little escape went a little too far and I spent a little too much money. <laughs> so um, most of the bandanas, they're anywhere from, I think the lowest one I bought was $10 and the highest one was $20. So they're anywhere between that. I don't know the price of each individual one, but that's like the price range between them. Um, they're really cute. And I thought, you know, if I'm spending $20 on a bandana, and the bandana is reversible, I'm really only spending $10 on each one because most of the bandanas that I've seen are all like $20 or like $20 for one side. So I thought I was getting a deal, but I'll show you the ones that I really got a deal on later. So that was the first one. This one I'm obsessed with. It has, I don't know how to pronounce these, but they're Manchera leaves or something. I'm not really sure. And then the other side has pool floaties all over it. One shaped like a pizza, a pretzel, a donut. Obsessed with that. Um, my boy is apparently a water boy. He loves the water. So I know we're gonna be taking him to the beach we don't have a pool though, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> but this is the next one. Um, I apologize for the wrinkled bandanas, but this next one just has triangles on one side and the other side has pancakes all over it. And we love a good pancake stack. So these were all from the auctions that they did on Friday and Saturday. And again, I just got really like into them. My bad. I don't hate any of the ones I got, so, you know. <laughs> and they all are just so stinking cute. Little man is gonna be rocking the bandanas. I My only thing is like, I'm gonna be so upset if he just like, he's wearing like this one that I just showed you and he like runs into a mud puddle or something. There goes that, that's never gonna be that light again. And this last one, no, nope, there's one more from this specific um, company. There's s'mores on this other side. My favorite part of uh, summer is the s'mores. So all of these things are really just my favorite things, which, you know, 
is the most important thing, am I right? Then this one, um, we are annual pass holders. We do live like 40 minutes from Disney World. So, <laughs> had to get him a Disney bandana. I mean, come on. And this is actually, it's so funny. This is the one that I think is gonna be the only one that will fit him when I get him because this is the only extra small that I got. My thing was that for the other ones, I didn't mind getting them in a small, which these are actually really big for a small. Ellen Dill run really, really big. So that's a small in Ellen Dill. And then I think these are actually mediums. So, but I don't wanna go to the next one. Let me, I'll show you the small from Bean and Co. The first bandana that I showed you guys. I think this one was a small. So like comparing the two, the Ellen Dill bandanas run really, really big, which they told me that when I um, started purchasing them. And I'm probably the only person that is buying bandanas for the dog that's not even here yet. Not mad about it, don't really care, but I probably am because normally you would wait till you get the dog and then measure the dog's neck, obviously, so that you're buying the right thing. But who am I? Why would I do that? That would just be smart. I'm not, never, no. So those were the last two Ellen Dill ones. And I did get them. Um, I have more coming. I'll probably show the other ones once he gets here. I really wanted like a calming type of thing going on um, for this specific one. And I'm sorry that I'm like scatterbrained all over the place. Um, but this, I don't know where to like put this. That's the um, company, so it's E-L-L. -L. I, I think I said E-L-I before, I don't know why. But it's Ellen Dill. Um, on Instagram and I showed you the other two. So now I'm gonna go on to my favorites. Again, not saying that the past ones that I've done aren't my favorites, but these ones by far are like top notch amazing. So like I said, the Ellen Dill ones were like 10 to $20 each. These ones I think were one, two were $7 and then the other two were $10. And the quality, like the quality difference is so insane, especially for these not being $20. Like I think a majority of the ones that I bought from Ellen Dill were, were roughly $20. And the fact that these ones weren't just blew my mind when I got them in the mail and I touched them. I was like, oh my gosh. So these ones are from Casper's Southern Wear, I think. I think. I might be wrong. I'm gonna try and like link this in the bio. This is my first video, so if I do something wrong, come for me. I mean, I'm only gonna learn from my mistakes, am I right? So I think this one's from Cat Su Casper's Southern Wear, something like that. But these are cool because A, we got more pancakes. These ones have toppings, so they're not the same. So it's okay that I bought two pancake bandanas. <laughs> um, and these are mediums. So again, the Ellen Dill Smalls are this big. And this is a medium from another company that is that big. Just so you guys are perfectly understanding how big the Ellen Dill ones get, um, run. So, that was the front and then i'm not a fan of the back but i don't think they're like they were like customizable or anything so i just got them in the mail she does my, that's my only thing though i think it's a girl that runs it it could be a guy i don't know there i don't know um but she doesn't she only shows you the fabric of the like main one like the main one that she's doing and then the other side some t some of them you don't see the other side it's like a surprise but like for this one the pancakes i probably won't ever use this other side so you win some you lose some but this next one i also love 
it is taco heaven. And the thing that I love the most are those little chocolate covered churros at the top. And he's gonna look super spicy in that one. <laughs> Um, she had a, I'm just going to call her she, I'm sorry if that's not, if it's not a girl, but it's just easier to be for me to say she, I guess. I don't know. Well, not really, but whatever. Um, this one, uh, she had a, or I'll say they, there we go. They had a, um, Instagram sale. There we go. She had an Instagram sale and these next two ones are the ones that I saw that caught my attention that made me go to Etsy to buy the other two. <laughs> um, so this one is for Christmas, obviously. I'm really hoping it fits by then, but I think it will because of these little things on the string on the end. But this is just the red truck. Obviously you need a good red truck in your life. And then the other side is plaid. And honestly, this one, I would actually use both sides. I kind of like that little mint green plaid. And then this one's my favorite. It's a Dunkin' Donuts. And it's not like a pumpkin donuts, like, or a pumpkin donuts or something. Like, it's not dog related. It's literally just Dunkin' Donuts. And I love the back. It reminds me of like a little picnic table. So those are the ones from Casper's Southern Wear, I think. <laughs> and then this next one is by far my favorite bandana. And this has taken me 20 minutes to go through. Wow, I'm really killing the game here. So this one is from East Coast Creations, if I can do that right. They are absolutely adorable. She did a flash sale. This bandana that I'm about to show you was only $10. And I'm sure it seems like a lot because I've gone through like all the bandanas I got, I've gone through and I'm like, this one's only $5, this one's only $10. I went ahead and I ordered this one for the $10 and um, they sent him, first of all, they sent him these little milk bones and I didn't know if they were like handmade milk bones or something. So I asked her, I was like, hey, when do these expire if they're like homemade? She was like, oh no, they're out of the box. They expire in 2021 because I'm, I'm worried. I haven't bought him any treats yet because I'm worried that they're gonna like expire because I want like good fresh treats. And if you get really good fresh treats, they expire faster than other ones. So I haven't gotten him any except for the ones that I have from the foster dogs that I had like a couple weeks ago. And I'm obviously gonna check the expiration date on them but they were from Target, so I don't think there's gonna be anything wrong with those. This is the last bandana, and it is my favorite, like I said. Look at that. Her little, um, like the tag, oops, that's upside down. The tag is everything, I love it. I love the fact that it goes on both sides so it like doesn't matter if you if you if he messes up the front you still got the back to work with plus it's black and white so even if he does you probably won't notice it too bad but that one is my by far my favorite bandana out of all of them and i think i got this one for him in a medium because i loved it so much i wanted him to be able to wear it um when he gets older so as far as that goes really like for the bandanas you just roll them down like if they're too big so right now which is why i also wasn't worried about it right now if i if i wanted him to wear this i would just roll it down probably to like there or even a little bit more and then i would just put it on him and tie it and he can still wear it now so you've made it through the bandana phase 25 minutes wow we're killing it still doing great okay let's move on quickly before it goes to 30 minutes which it definitely sure will um this next thing that you don't need but that i bought is a car sticker so this is from jess's paper co um it is on etsy so i'm gonna show that hopefully it you can see it, it's not focusing at all. That's fine. It's Jess's Paper Co. And the sticker that I got is this. It says, get off my ass. 
um, I didn't say what breed I was getting. I'm getting an Australian Shepherd. He is a Red Merle, which means technically he looks like this, but I don't think this is a really good like depiction of their coloring. But this, this she threw in the sticker. This is like for like a water bottle or like your, um, your laptop. It says, look at that Oss. Um, so Australian Shepherds are also called Aussies. And um, so when I saw this, it's just like the shortened version of Aussie. Instead of saying Aussie, you're saying Oss. So for anybody riding off on the back of me, they'll see this little puppy, which I thought was absolutely adorable. She does live in Canada. And because of this whole coronavirus thing, I kid you not, I think it took almost a month to get to me. I told her, I was, I messaged her on Instagram, or not Instagram, I messaged her through Essie and I asked her what happened to my package because I didn't get it and it was, it went in a, like a little letter, I didn't have tracking or anything. So she was really sweet, she was like, I understand, you know, I'm sorry, if it doesn't come by Wednesday, I'll send you another one. And it, surely enough, it came, I was like, we're good, don't need to send me another one. So that was great. So now that we've pretty much gone over the stuff that you really don't need, but hey, you're a dog owner, you might want it. Cause I know I want my dog looking fly when he's going out getting all the ladies. Am I right? No, I'm not right because he's probably gonna get neutered. Um, <laughs> so the next thing here, this is his little thing of toys. Yes, he has the, you know, nice flowy little basket. It is chock full with animal stuff. So today's the day that I wanted to go through all of his stuff. And there's been like a lead behind me this whole time. That's fine. Um, I wanted to go through his stuff, take off all the wrapping and everything because like, I'm gonna have to do it next week when I pick him up. So, Still unpacking the box. Okay, now there's just a blanket in there. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll start with my favorite things. Obviously, why wouldn't we do that? So my favorite thing, his very first toy that I even wanted to get him, chicken and waffles. Okay, so everything still has the tags on it, which I'll take off after this video. But essentially, first of all, there's a squeaker. This thing is like crinkly on one half, squeaker on the other, and then you've got a freaking squeaky chicken. For whatever reason, nobody likes squeaky toys. I don't know a single person in this world that wants a squeaky toy, but for whatever reason, every single dog toy squeaks. So I tried to find things that didn't squeak, I bought these online, so I didn't know what they were gonna do. Probably could have read the description, you know, something nobody does, um, and figured it out, but did I? No. So this one is from Pet Play. I'm gonna try and do that. And it is part of their Barking Brunch. So they actually had like all of those. There was a Bloody Mary, um, avocado toast, eggs benedict, and a pup pastry. So it looks like a croissant. And my favorite thing is chicken and waffles. So he had to have a chicken and waffle toy. That makes sense, right? And the other thing I got from that company was a camera. I have one tattooed on my wrist. So that's just obvious. I love a good camera. I love a good picture. That's just my favorite thing that I like to do. Um, I don't do it as much as I used to. So it is what it is, but this, I think, squeaks, shocking. And then there's a water bottle in the as the lens. So you can put it over their head. It's actually pretty stretchy. So you can put it over their head if you want to and like make it look like they've got a camera. Um, but I just thought it was really cute. I bought like a lot of novelty toys, not novelty, yeah, I guess novelty toys. He's still gonna play with them, but I just thought like 
had to do it. So like for this one, my boyfriend and I are his parents. So my boyfriend likes whiskey. So this is supposed to be a dog whiskey bottle, except like the top doesn't really fill out. It is, you can open it. <laughs> wow, a lot of fur just came off. And there's a water bottle inside that you can like replace once it dies, I guess. Um, the brand is Zippy Paws, which I can like, like Zippy Paws. But I got it from like a one of those dog boutiques that's around the corner from my house. Um, so I don't know if they, they probably just send them to the boutiques. I don't know how it works. So I don't know if they like have these online at Zippy Paws, but I just bought it from the dog boutique that was that's down the road from me. Um, might as well keep up with the novelty. He's a little foodie. So I had to get him some Faritos. It's literally just a bag of chips and shocking it squeaks. Not as bad though. You gotta like really find it. But those are his Faritos. And I did get him a Kong toy. So this is the little um, teddy bear. I haven't found a lot of like little stuffed animals that I liked. But my boyfriend games and he plays a video game called The Division. And that the Division has a um, like a teddy bear thing that gets put onto their backpack when you do something. I don't know. The bear just reminded me of that. So I got him that. Um, it's a Kong Wild Knots. Oh God, it squeaks. Oh my God, I didn't know it squeaked. I thought this was the one toy I got that didn't squeak because all I saw on the back were the ropes. So I'm thinking it's just a rope toy. You can feel the rope in here, but I didn't think it squeaked. At least it's a little bit quieter. Like you can kind of barely hear that. So that's okay. So he's got that. Oh, I was like, I'm out of toys. That's not possible. Here is his Kong. We're gonna fill it with peanut butter, put it in the freezer, let them go ham. I'll probably get really sick and tired of the licking sound, but that's for another day, am I right? Um, and then when he's teething, I couldn't find, for whatever reason, everybody is buying dogs right now, obviously, because they're home and have nothing else to do. I don't know why I said for whatever reason. So when I went into the pet stores, there was like nothing in stock. So I was trying to find like, there's like a teething ring with these same spikes. I was trying to find those, couldn't. Um, also, by the way, the Kong, both Kong things are from PetSmart, I think. I went between PetSmart and Petco, but I don't think I, I haven't gone to Petco for these. I went to Petco for the foster dogs. So these are all from PetSmart. This is just, I figured this would help like the little spikes well, when he's teething, but of course it squeaks. So there's that. Um, and then for teething as well, I got him this little um, teething ring. So I will, we are gonna vlog and I promise I will look better. <laughs> We're gonna vlog when we go get him next weekend. So, Hopefully, I'm gonna probably bring that when we go so we have something to chew on. And then I also got these for teething. They're, they're, I don't, okay, they are Nyla bones. I was like, I've watched so many YouTube videos that I know what it is before I even look at it, but I didn't want, I just wanted to make sure. So these are Nyla bones, and I guess they come in three stages. I really don't know how these work. One is for gentle chewing, and then it goes up to extreme chewing, so I guess like, once it gets really bad, you get to the last one. I'm not sure. I would definitely, um, I'm definitely gonna like read them before I'm just giving him random bones to chew on. Um, and then of course, nope, that's not from PetSmart. We'll keep with PetSmart. I got him a little ball. I didn't wanna get him all the same toy and then he hates like all of them. So. Obviously, they all have squeakers in them, which sucks. But I'm talking like I didn't. I didn't wanted to get like something crunchy, something 
like one ball, one rope toy so that I can kind of figure out what he likes and then I can get like a pack of balls and spend money on like real good tennis balls rather than buying a bunch of them and he looks at them and then goes to sleep or something. So that's why I wanted it. That's why I have so many toys, honestly. I don't know what he's gonna like and I just wanna be a good dog mom. So that's where we're at. Um, this is from, actually my Kong is from Target. I didn't even think about that. Um, this was from Target as well. I have a blue thing going on and this was from Target. In case you couldn't tell, everything I'm buying him is blue and that's not because he's a boy. It's just because it's my favorite color hence the shirt you can even see the polaroid right there is blue <laughs> so that's just my favorite color um this was like two bucks i'm sure it's gonna end to shreds and people say that like sometimes the string gets off and gets in their digestion and all that so i'm gonna make sure if he's like using i mean obviously if he's using this you would want to like play tug of war but i'm gonna make sure i'm like watching him when he uses that so that nothing bad happens to my little man I am, I mentioned before, I'm getting an Australian Shepherd. So the thing with Australian Shepherds is that they need a lot of physical and mental stimulation. So this next toy that I'm showing you is from Amazon and it looks like this. I kind of can't like hold it up because it'll fall out, but it looks like this. And all you do is, I got long nails, so this is, Hard. but you just like it's it's there's like a hole right there you fill it with treats or chicken if you want to or whatever and um, you cover it up if you want to spin it around a little bit you can do that and then the dog has to like find all the chicken all the treats and you have to like lift it up with your mouth which there's like a little a little gap right there that he can like grab on so sorry I saw this on somebody else's YouTube channel and I figured this would be like a good thing. Also, like if we want to relax for a little bit and don't want to like play and just put the treats in here and let them go ham. The only thing is that like I saw another one and the reviews on that one, like all of the pieces were chewed up. They were like, oh my God, my dog could have choked on this. And so this is gonna be, have to be one of those things that I watch him on. Um, if you just look up like mental dog toys on Amazon, this is one of the first ones that pops up. So I don't know what it's actually called. The brand is Punoy or, oh, it's a Swedish brand, Nina Ottoson. That's all I got for you, I'm sorry. Um, so that's that. What should I show next? <laughs> there's way too many things. Actually, there's not. We're almost done. I promise. It's 40 minutes. So the next thing that I have, which these are the training treats that I had for the puppies that I was fostering. They, this got them to come to, to me, eat out the palm of my hands. So I know they're good. Okay, it says best before... 2022 so we're good um these are just chicken liver treats they're from target they were like four dollars um i have no idea if that's expensive or not this is my thing like i've never had a dog before so i'm like buying stuff and i'm like is that a good price i guess but i've been looking at so many different places at this point that i kind of know like we went in a tractor supply plus today and or tractor supply co i don't know tractor supply we went into that store today and i was like oh my god they have a good price on harnesses because every time i go into a store to look for harnesses they're like 30 dollars, and they have them in there for like 15 20 dollars. i was like we're getting a harness from here and it's right around the corner they just built a new one um last month but since these are good i'm gonna use these um at first once they're done i'm going to um, switch the treats out probably but there's a lot in here so it probably will last a while I say that but I don't I've never had a dog so it could last a week because I went through I went through like a hundred training pads like the pee pads for the foster dogs in like four days that was a little much for me 
Um, okay, so one of the other fun things that I got, um, he has three leashes at this point. I bought two of them and we, we were gifted one. I'm sure we have to give that back. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it. It looks way too big for him. But this is blue and it is his training, or not his training. This is his, um, his leash. So it's blue and it's ombre. Oh wow, that looks actually really cool. <laughs> um, and then it has like rose gold, um, like the accessories on it is are rose gold. This is from Sassy, Sassy Wolf. It's on this keychain, which hopefully I can, maybe I can't even see if I'm showing you or not. You can just see my face and my horrible hair, it's fine. Um, this is kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I got it because pictures, he's gonna have a doggy Instagram and I wanna put my entire life into it. <laughs> so I know this is gonna look good in shots. But also I just want, I really wanted a rope leash, but I hate the ones that are like super chunky at the, at the end. And this one was the only one I saw that wasn't. And of course the fact that it was ombre just sold me. So that's one of his leashes. Um, I can go on to his next one, honestly. This one is a retractable leash. So I guess it makes it okay that I bought it. It is from Amazon. Um, Tadtronics is the one that I got. Of course it's blue. And the leash or the retractable part is right there. It's literally, it was literally just came out the plastic, just came out the box. Um, and the thing that I liked about this, the thing that I like about Amazon in general is you can find a lot of stuff for cheap, A, but B, bundles. So like this came with the poop bag holder, which I really wanted because I have two leashes and I wanted to make sure each leash has a poop bag holder on it at all times. Cause like I said, like if we want to go to the beach or whatever, I don't want to be like, oh man, did I grab a poop bag? Like, I just want it on the leash already. So since we've already gone to Amazon stuff, I will continue with the Amazon stuff. Um, these are just poop bags. They are eco, earth related, um, eco friendly biodegradable poop bags. There's 120 in here. I didn't know if I liked them or not. If I got poop bags and like, I have to like hold it or whatever for a couple of minutes and the stench is just getting to me, I'm not gonna want it. So I wanted to make sure that, I'm sure I'll go through 120 fairly quickly. So if I do, I can switch to a different one if I'm like not a fan of those. So we're gonna try them out, see how they go. And then I did buy him, this is for the, um, well, I actually don't know which poop bag is gonna go on which leash, but this is the other poop bag that I got. This is from Amazon. And it says that the dispenser is made with corn. Um, it's bio-based, unscented, and I got 15 bags on the inside, which I thought was pretty freaking cool. Um, and there's a hook on it. I think the hook could actually go onto your belt. So like that hook that's right there could go onto your belt so that you actually don't have to like have it dangling off the leash, which is also kind of cool. But the main thing is that it's made with corn. It's a little black fire hydrant and I love it. Um, gonna continue with Amazon, like I said. So I did have to get, or did not have to, but I got his grooming stuff. So, Y'all are probably like, I need to make like a new intro and be like, get your popcorn because wow, an hour long of me just talking about all the dog stuff I bought. That's horrible. Um, so his grooming stuff came from Rough and Rufus off of Amazon. Um, for their hair type, a lot of people told me they need a slicker brush. So I just looked up slicker brushes and this is one of the ones that came up. My biggest thing though, is that I wanted one that when you, like you click it, oh, hold on. You click it so that the bristles come out, 
and then you click it again. Oh, I'm horrible at showing off things. And then the hair will come off on the outside so that you're not sitting there trying to like pull the hair off. You literally just press a button and they come out and then when you press it again, they go back in. So it came with that. That was the brush. And then as a bonus, this is the bundles I'm talking about y'all. It comes with a little comb to like get all the mats out. And I'm not done yet. It also comes with the little, um, I don't even know what to call these, but they are for their, um, their nails on their paws. I'm sure I'm not gonna need any of this until he's older, but my biggest concern is that I don't introduce it to him early enough. And when somebody comes at him with a comb, he freaks the, f freaks the freak out. And that's an issue because if I wanna let him go to the groomers, then, and he can't get groomed because he's deathly afraid of a comb coming towards him, then that sucks for me because now I gotta deal with it. And even if I don't actually brush him, but just like show him the brush, do it gently on his fur, just so he gets used to the feeling of it. I think that that's gonna help, um, help him out in the future. So I'm okay with spending the money now, even if I don't have to, even if I can't actually uh, groom him, which I think I can. I actually don't know when I can start grooming him, but I think you can start grooming him whenever because one of the boutiques that I went to told me, oh, when they're up to like six months, the wash blow, all of that is only $35. So to bring him in a lot between those six months to get him used to going to the groomers and it's a cheaper price, we might do it. So the last couple of things, what else is from Amazon? This is from Amazon. This is my favorite thing that I bought for him. Um, I like so excited. <laughs> um, so this is the best thing ever. It is a dog water bottle, you guys. So the cool thing about this, right? So I'll start from the top. <laughs> so you put the water in here and then you like unlock it. Let me see if it'll, so you unlock it. And then you the, you just tip the water bottle forward and there's a little hole and the water comes out of there. And whenever you're done, you would just tip it back so the water goes back in and then you would lock it so that if it's like flying around in your bag, you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. So the cool thing about this one, the bottom twists off and it's a place to store treats or kibble if you really want to. And I just thought that that was freaking brilliant. Like I never thought this would be a thing. And the funny earth thing. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this water bottle, but it was, so it comes in two different types. So there's one that just is just the water. And then there's this one that also has like the treat compartment. Regardless, you're gonna have like this, but it just won't have like a space for treats. Um, and I saw it on Instagram and it was, it was like, oh, it's $39.95, but we're having a sale and now it's $25. And my stupid behind was like, oh my God, that's such a good deal. And it wasn't. <laughs> so I went on to my Australian Shepherd group on Facebook and I was like, Do, does anybody have this? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Before I spend this $25 on dog water bottle, I need to know girl came on there and was like, oh yeah, I have that. I love it. I got it off of Amazon for $10. I was like, what? So then I go on Amazon and surely enough, the same water bottle these people were advertising. And the, the main reason why I asked was because the Instagram seemed sketchy as all heck. Like they sponsored, or they had like a sponsored post with this water bottle in it, but all the pictures were just like of dogs. Like, nothing to do with the water bottle. So I was like, I don't understand why you're advertising this. And that, like, that doesn't make any sense. So I went ahead and once she told me that, I was like, I am not a sucker. I gotta get this off of Amazon. But, the, but then 
fast forward a couple days, probably maybe two, that's a couple days. Anyways, fast forward a couple days, I was on YouTube and a girl posted a, a puppy haul and she showed not just the one with the water, but the one with the treats. And I was like, if I'm out to brunch, I could just bring this. Like my thing with, and I do have, since I'm done with Amazon stuff, I can show this. Um, this is from another little boutique. It was $3.99. It's one of the like travel, oops, there we go. One of the little travel food bowls. My thing with this, which is why I only have one, is that if the dog is like drinking out of this, right? And then like it's done. First of all, I've got to pour the water out somewhere. God knows where. And then I've got to stick this probably back in my purse because unless I wanna like fold it up and put it on the leash maybe, I could do that. But my thought process is, is that I'm not gonna be in a lot of places where I would like need to put it on the leash. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm putting it in my purse and now there's like a bunch of water going into my purse. So I bought this one specifically for like food probably, like when we go to the beach I can maybe put his kibble in here, or if that's not enough, I would put the kibble in like a bag and then pour it into this. I figured while I was, while I'm like at, out at brunch, this would be a great thing to use and to like put in my purse. And this is more so for like the beach. We don't hike or anything like that. So I wouldn't really need, I wouldn't need two of them. We don't travel um like super often we have one cruise set up in september but that's about it um we're not like super big travelers which is okay so that's the travel food bowl that i got this was the best thing i've ever bought i'm gonna do i'll probably do like an update thing to be like okay does this work i'm sure it does but you never know so that's that. I showed the poop bag, showed the leashes, all that, showed that. Um, I'll show these. So as far as his food bowls go, I don't know if he's even gonna be able to reach these, but I got this from uh, PetSmart. It was on sale for like $20. It was exactly what I wanted, anything and everything and more. My only concern is that since it is lifted, and I got the lifted one because apparently it helps with their digestion. I don't know. Um, but I don't know if you can actually reach the bowls. The good thing is though, the wrapping is still on them, but the bowls do come out. So if anything, I would just put the bowls on the ground um, so that he has somewhere, or that, so that he can reach them. And then I did get him from the same boutique that I got the travel bowl, a little blanket. So as far as the blanket goes, I want to sleep with it with my boyfriend and um, so that our scent is on it. So if we ever leave, we are crate training him. If we ever leave, he doesn't have like a freaking panic attack or something. At least he can like smell us still. Um, and the funny thing was, was that I, this was wrapped up and I couldn't see what the design was. Usually the outside has what the design is, but this was $3. It was my favorite color. And I kind of just went with that and trusted <laughs> that it was going to be a good print. And it ended up being this cute little soccer ball print. And funny thing was, was that I played soccer for nine years. So it was just funny to me that I didn't know what it was and it just happened to be soccer. Um, and then one of the last things, this is like fourth to last. Oh my gosh, this is an hour long. Um, it's his dog bed, which I also got from PetSmart. Um, there's really nothing special about it. I, I don't know. I kind of just wanted to get him a dog bed. I don't know how big he's going to get. I don't know what, if he's even going to like this, if he's going to be too big for, i don't think he's going to be too big for this i think this is going to be perfect size for a little bit but he's definitely going to grow out of it obviously um his mom is like 45 pounds and his dad is like 60 pounds so it's going to be a big boy 
Um, I do want to show, I'll show this. This goes with that. So I'll show these two together, kind of. Um, so this I got from Tractor Supply Plus. It's just a plain brown um, collar. I, again, don't know if this is going to fit him. I feel like the neck size is a little too big from the pictures I've seen of him. The good thing though, the breeder that I am with, amazing woman, super great. She's been super helpful, answers questions. I get pictures of Ranger like every couple of days. So I've been able to like kind of be there to see him grow, which has been really nice. I hope I'm looking at the camera because I'm just kind of looking in that general vicinity and which is why I keep looking at the screen instead because I feel like if I'm just looking over there, I'm gonna look like I'm talking to the wall. But anyways, so Ranger is, um, or sorry, the breeder is supposed to give like a puppy pack and it's supposed to come with toys and he, got, he has a collar already and all that. So that's fine. I know that he's going to grow into this. I also don't know if I'll like the collar because like I know it's just a collar, but if it's like some bright green highlighter, yellow, something like it's just it's not gonna go for me i'm not gonna like it so i bought him a collar just in case you know we'll see how it goes and but my favorite part about this you guys is his tag i'm gonna make sure you can't see our information on it but let's see oh can you focus on that here i'll put my hand behind it all beauty guru like i don't i still don't think you can like see it Oh, there you go, maybe. But that's his tag that we got off of um, Etsy. And then I'm gonna show you guys the back. So, oops. It says, call my humans and microchipped. And then it has our phone numbers on it, which I really, really like. Like this tag is just so nice. Like I always see everybody go to like PetSmart and you know, you watch it get engraved and it's like a whole thing which I think is really cute, but I just love like the fact that it's metal and like it lo just looks so nice and like it, the mountains and stuff go with kind of my theme, I guess, um, for him. So that's his dog tag. And then just like the last three things that really don't even matter that much. Um, but are very important, which is why I kind of went in the order that I did. Um, we went to Tractor Supply Plus, I don't know what it's called. And we got him a little, um, like a crate bed. It's not actually going to be his bed. I see, like, I don't know what I want to do. So I think I want to keep this one out in the living room so that he can sleep on it. But I feel like he's a puppy and he's just going to like be playing and then knock out on the middle of the floor and this is going to be useless out here so what i might do is put the the crate bed because it's not that thick in the um in the in the crate obviously and then put the bed on top of that so that's like a little bit extra cushion for him but i'm not 100 percent sure yet um we did get the 23 inch by 17 inch and it fits perfectly and then i've seen everybody who hauls like does puppy hauls have this nature's miracle stain and odor remover so apparently whatever's in this i think it's the enzymes or something um if like ranger pees on the floor and i spray it with that and like scrub it out or take it out or whatever he won't go back to that same spot because whatever this is um helps them so that they know not to pee there so I did get that because I'm sure there will be accidents and I'm sure it'll be when I am on a video call for work. So that'll be super fun and exciting. Um, and then the last thing, whew, an hour and two minutes. Wow. If you have stuck this long, I appreciate you oh so much. You are amazing. Me sitting here, I'm tired. <laughs> like I'm more tired than what I was when I started this. Um, so the last thing that I want to show you guys, and I want your opinions. So like, I know nothing about dog food. P 
people have obviously had dogs their whole life. They're like, oh, that one was recalled on April 12th of 2002. I'm never buying it again. And I don't know those things. Obviously I can do the research, but at the end of the day, I can't research every single dog food that there is out there to find out if it's ever been recalled. So um, I'm trying to figure out this whole, there's like grain-free diet, non-grain-free diet. And it is like the, the people who are against vaccines versus the people who are for vaccines. It's like a whole thing. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if the dogs need the grains. I've heard that there's research that you do need to have grains in your dog food. Then I've got people telling me, no, don't put grains in the dog food. So I don't know what it is. So don't come for me for this dog food. The only reason I got it is because whenever you have a dog, you have to slowly transition them off of whatever food that they are currently on. So like he is on this food. This is the four health puppy formula in the blue bag. And um, I wanna make sure, like even the back of this box or the back of this bag says that you need to um, wean the puppy off 10 to 14 days of putting a little bit of food into the food that they have to like switch them off of that food. I know, that's a lot. So I got the food that he is currently being fed by the breeder and I'm not going to keep him on this food, at least for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him on this food. We can go to the vet and the vet could be like, that's the number one rated dog food. I recommend that to everybody that comes in here and none of the dogs have had any problems. And I could just go with the food that we already have. So I'm not 100% sure what dog food we're gonna go with at the end of the day. My boyfriend wants Taste of the Wild, so we could, we'll could we probably end up going with that because um, he's had dogs all his life, so he knows about their food more than I do. Um, I do want the vet's opinion on it because there could have been some recent revelations on why to get this food versus that food. Um, but y'all one hour and five minutes you have made it through the longest puppy haul that i know is on instagram right now um again i appreciate you for watching this entire thing if you have um i will be making a vlog that will definitely be shorter than an hour next week um when i get him he's about two hours from us and we have our appointment to get him at 10.30. I do want to take a couple days off from work to like kind of get adjusted with him. Um, if I need any last minute things, I can take him with me. Like I really want to get him a harness because I know like the collar that I got him, I wouldn't want to put the leash on that collar. It chokes them and it hurts their neck. Um, so I want to get him a harness, but I have no idea what size. And unlike the bandanas, I kind of can't guess with that. So my plan is <laughs> to, um, take him into the pet store with me and maybe get like videos of that, videos of us picking him up, having him and like the first couple nights maybe, um, with him so that we have a vlog, a full vlog, and I'm hoping it won't be an hour long like this is, but um, we'll see how that goes. Um, but that is everything. I'll try and make like an update video maybe of like the stuff that he liked versus didn't like. Like I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing, but he might see it and freak out and not want to drink out of it. And then I've wasted $13 on this thing. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, I'll try and do an update video um, and show you guys kind of like maybe his setup or something. Um, my boyfriend and I are Disney annual pass holders. So I will attempt to vlog maybe once the parks start opening up so that you guys can see what it's like at Disney for a pass holder after COVID-19 and after quarantine. Um, 
I don't think it's gonna be very fun, <laughs> to be completely honest. Like if they're making us wear masks in the dead heat of summer at Disney, I probably won't go because that's really uncomfortable. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. But um, we also have that cruise in September. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging on the cruise, whether it's with this camera or maybe if I save up for a camera, um, we can work it on out. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad if you decide to stick around for more videos. I don't know what kind of content I'm gonna try and go for, but I can tell you right now, I will not be cleaning. I will not be doing cleaning videos. I feel like, <sighs> I like to watch them. I just don't like to do them. Like if I watch somebody else clean, I feel like I clean myself, you know? I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Seriously, I'm so glad you guys stuck around for this hour long puppy haul. I hope you had snacks. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just shot on my iPhone. I hope at some point I get to the point where I'm walking around with a big old DS DSLR and it has like a fluffy microphone and all that. Um, that's the point that I want to get to. But for right now, we're just starting from square one. I'm probably going to edit this on an iMovie and upload it. And that's that. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys when we pick up Ranger.